the fifth saying or uh, utterance of the cross found in the book of john chapter 28 let us knowing that all was now complete so that the scripture would be fulfilled jesus said i am thirsty yes christ says i am thirsty christ came to fulfill the scripture he came to fulfill the law the prophets had spoken of him and christ was thirsty he who created the waters of the sea said i thirst he who said ask of me and i will give you springs of living water says i thirst he who said if anyone is thirsty let him come to me and drink says i thirst he was thirsty for the souls of mankind to be understood spiritually of his great thirst an eager desire after the salvation of the people he was thirsty for your soul and my soul he was thirst was not just natural thirst but it was a thirst for the souls of mankind for that he had come and he was suffering he was thirsty it was not at all strange that he was thirsty it was not at all strange that he was thirsty we find him thirsty in the journey when he was on his journey in john chapter 4 verse 6 and 7 he was hungry and thirsty he was human being it shows his humanity he was thirsty and now when he is just about at the end of his journey he says i thirst he was thirsty after all the toil and hurry which he had gone through or undergone the sorrow that he had felt he was thirsty the heat of the day the loss of blood for the natural causes of his thirst he was now in agony of death purely by extreme pain yes yet he says i thirst thus the humanity of christ is being displayed through his thirst the torments of hell are represented by the violent thirst in the complaint of the rich man that begged a drop of water to be put on his lips to cool his tongue yes it is the story that christ said in the parable of the rich man and the poor lazarus rich man had everything on this earth lavish living but he went to the hell he went to hell and he was thirsty he says father abraham sent a lazarus that he should give me a drop of water on my tongue you and i were condemned to the, that everlasting thirst we had been condemned had not christ suffered for you and for me the same thirst that that rich man the story of rich man and lazarus went through that was the portion that we were supposed to have but it was christ's death and suffering for us on the cross that saved us of that thirst jesus knowing that all things were accomplished what was accomplished the law was fulfilled by he came to fulfill the law all things relating to his suffering was accomplished all the prophecies were fulfilled his work of redemption was just about to be complete the circumstances which were appointed by god and foretold by the prophets and prophecy by the prophets were completed right from his birth to his childhood to his ministry 
and now at his death all things were accomplished that which was spoken of by the prophets it was in the book of psalm 69 verse 21 says they gave me a call for my food and in my thirst they gave me vinegar to drink yes now you might wonder the word of god says why vinegar now what is this this was actually offered to every victim who was crucified by the soldiers to ease their pain and when the soldiers gave him this Jesus refused to take this wine cup vinegar it looks like that by suffering on the cross Christ's wounds were highly inflamed raging with fever that was caused by the suffering Christ said I thirst which was literally true of him maybe also understood spiritually of his great thirst and eager and desire to save and give salvation to people that's what he talks about this thirst he wore this pain without complaint he wished to give them the fullest proof of his being messiah christ that's what he did and he did everything that messiah did right from his ministry childhood till his death and everything was completed my strength is sapped or dried up like a pot shred my tongue sticks to the roof of my mouth psalm 22 verse 15 says this and appears to have its come accomplishment which predicted through great thirst that christ went through today Christ is thirsty for your soul and my soul. It's a spiritual thirst. Do we thirst for him? Are you and me thirsty for Jesus Christ? For his love? For his redemptive plan? And for his redemption? Are we thirsty for the Lord and his salvation? Shall we pray? Thank you, Lord. for giving us this great salvation you thirst went through thirst so that we can be saved and we will not be condemned thank you for grace in jesus name amen